Hey guys, Kyle here doing episode 9 of Pandora with Kyle. I'm just picking up right where I left off last time. Uh, we just got everything moved down into my uh, machining room. I did take a little bit of time off camera and I cleaned up the piping channel in the back and I extended it all the way around the room. So that's ready to go. Um, and I just want to dive right in and let's get the quarry running downstairs. So. Let me make sure I have everything. I've got a bunch of pipes. I've got some torches. Um, I think that's probably all I need for now. Uh, I am going to need some other type of torches. Oh, let's do this. I need to repair my tools, so let's grab some of this. This is actually the second stack of covalence dust that I've had. I went through a whole stack of it building this uh, house, so let's just real quick repair our tools so that they don't break on us while we're down there working. Cool, and I'm actually going to keep this in here because it's sort of tool related. At this point the thing that I use these dusts for is repairing tools. Um, I am not likely to need a build craft wrench, so let's put that away. Alright, let's let's uh, let's head down and see what kind of damage we can do. So we're going to want to pipe stuff from there. Um, we do have this ladder. I have to figure out what we're going to do about that. So where do we want to put the quarry? It would be really convenient if it could be placed right here, um, but then it's going to end up taking away my ladder. I think I decided that that was okay though. Maybe I'll put my ladder right here, right next to it. Uh, it might be, have to be right here anyway. That would still be in the wrong, the wrong way, because then my ladder is going to lead right into the pit, and I don't want it leading into the pit of the quarry because then it'll just fall in the hole. Uh, let's go upstairs and see where we might be able to move this ladder. if we wanted it to be back a little further we could put it like right here going down right next to the quarry and put a door there or something that might work for now it'll be a little ugly but um, let's just do that so if I dig down ooh. I found stuff. I'm not sure what it is. Tin. Um, and we'll cover this hole back up. Okay. So let's clear an area here so that uh, we have some room to work in because we're going to need to put all of our stuff, oops, this way, back behind this thing. Um, we're going to need to move all of the all of this equipment that's out here back into here and I'm going to try to make it a lot more compact than this one is so give me a minute I'm going to clear out some space down here so how's this for cleared out room here's the stuff that I've got now and I just cleared out a whole bunch of space back here so the plan is to put a the quarry right here we'll put the engine on it right there we're going to have a pipe, a uh, blue pipe right there, blue, wooden pipe. I don't know where the blue came from. Wooden pipe right there, so we're going to put our fermenter and our pump right here. So we're going to need, uh, let's see, we're going to have a redstone engine there. The fermenter doesn't, oh, the fermenter does require power. So if we put that... Um, I want to make the the engine that's powering the um, fermenter also a uh, biogas engine so that we're running a little bit more efficient on that kind of thing. So that's one biogas engine. If this becomes the other one, how can I run the piping so it's convenient? Probably no good way. So let's let's think about this a little bit more. Um, What if I run 
pump or a engine engine fermenter and then I can pipe out the top of the fermenter across the uh, wooden pipe will be a little funky or I could do it under that'll work a lot better I'll do it under so let's uh, dig a couple more things here we're gonna need a 3 by 3 space over here so that was where it was gonna go so I need this one these two let's fill in this extra hole I made um, and I'm gonna have to go back up and grab the buckets and I'm gonna craft another biogas engine now you guys have seen me craft biogas engine it's not all that exciting so I'm just gonna craft it and I'll bring everything back down and we'll get started all right so we got our bucket let's fill up this water supply and I did not do that right okay let's pick up a bunch of this stuff so we can pick up that we'll grab all this stuff don't need any of it over here anymore oops there's stuff in here I should grab out first otherwise it just goes flying everywhere and finally the quarry okay start placing some things down so we're gonna put the quarry Actually, I'm not going to place the quarry yet, because I'm going to do something special with the quarry. Um, but I am going to place, so we're going to have one biogas engine right there. I do need the wrench, apparently. We're going to have one right there. We're going to place the fermenter here. Um, we need wooden waterproof and two stone waterproof so that will get our fuel into those things we're going to need the pump it's gonna go right here place down a couple redstone engines that's fine for that one and I'm gonna move you torch because you're sort of inconvenient Let's place it back because we don't want things spawning down here. Um, oh, we need one more pipe, don't we? Right here. Cool. So let's throw our fertilizer and our saplings back in here. We will get some levers going on the redstone engines so they start working. and I'm gonna have to run back upstairs and grab a wrench so let me do that the other thing I'm gonna do while I'm off camera here is um, pick up all of the ladder pieces so um, I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back all right we're back down I've filled in um, let's see I'm gonna want to fill in this water because I don't want the water being a problem so I've uh, taken down the ladder that was over here. I left the hole, but take down the ladder and uh, put it over here. So we're going to take the wrench and we're going to fix these two. Uh, that one's not going to let me fix until I have something there it can actually point at. I can trick it by putting another engine down. There we go. So that's what these are going to look like. I am going to temporarily, anyway, need something on that to power it. Okay. I did say I wanted to do that underneath, didn't I? And I did not do it. Oh, well, it looks fine like that. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is put down the quarry. And before I put down the quarry, though, I don't want to do a quarry area this big. This was cool, but it was just a start. I want to do a much much larger quarry and the way you tell buildcraft how big you want to do something is you put down markers so um, if we make I only need three of them three redstone torches 
and then you stack some lapis on those, you get these landmarks. And landmarks are really cool. I'm actually going to want um, probably just one. I'll use a lever actually. If I throw down a landmark um, right here, because this will be one corner of this whole thing, and we throw down, oops, um, why didn't that work? You know what, this is probably a bug. Let's place this, no, there we go. Um, so that's probably a bug that the uh, redstone signal needs to be applied before it works. You'll see it throws out these arms. This is the all the directions it can go. And what I want to do is make a quarry that is as big as these go, basically, um, short of me popping out of the side of the mountain or anything like that. I think I'm low enough, though, that uh, I shouldn't have that problem. So I'm going to start digging off in this direction, and we're going to see until we either hit the end of this line or uh, we pop out of the mountain. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, so here's the end. You'll see it just kind of stops right there. And I'm a long way down. I believe it is 64 blocks uh, down. So I'm gonna put another one right there. So I'm gonna tell it that I wanna go all the way to the end of it. I'm gonna do the same thing going in the other direction. So let me run back out here and you can see just how long this tunnel is. It's really kind of ridiculous. I'm going to do the same thing going off in this direction. So let me run out there and do that as well. All right, so I've placed all three, one all the way down there, one all the way down there, and I have one in this corner. So let's get rid of the lever and uh, also a bug that it doesn't disappear. But again, we're playing with the beta build of BuildCraft. But if I right click on this, you'll see it builds a big square. So that's saying, here's the outline of that area you asked for. I hear a skeleton somewhere. Um, and if you put a quarry down on a corner of one of those, you'll see what happens is the quarry will build its frame where you just asked it. So let me run all the way down here to these two and collect these landmarks. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I've collected these two. Now you can see it goes up a little ways. Uh, I do want to run outside real quick and just make sure that uh, I'm not going to be poking out anywhere. The kind of the reason that uh, Buildcraft does that is so that you can check where it's going to build stuff. So um, if we run outside, and I'm going to sleep real quick so we don't have too many mobs to worry about. Um, we shouldn't see it poking out anywhere. So let's just verify that. And if we come over here, I don't see it sticking out over here anywhere. And let's go up a little bit and check. Uh, I have to go up this way. Uh, this would have been the center of it right about here, so I think we're good. I don't see it sticking out anywhere. Um, big hole over there, but I think that's okay. And what is that? Is that snow in this texture pack? Or is that a beehive? Ouch. I don't know what that is. I think it's just snow. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to log back in with the normal texture pack to figure out what that is. It might be a beehive, which would be handy. Anyway, let's head back up and um get our quarry going. So it's a little bit of a journey back, so I will meet you guys back down there. Okay, so to get this process kick-started, I'm going to throw a lever down here and some coal into this machine. So that should start um, fermenting up some biogas and pumping it into the engines. 
I'm going to need something to turn these engines on, so let's just throw a couple pieces of cobblestone and we'll throw that and a lever. I just used the last lever. Um, I'll just throw it here. So that should cause both of those to get started. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need one other thing that I totally forgot about. I'm going to need some lava. Um, I think this is the hole down? Yeah. So I've got a bucket. Let's get down here. I'm not worried about these ladders too much because um, the quarry should pick them up and just basically deliver them to me. I'm going to need two buckets of lava. Lame. So this is what it looks like, by the way, if, uh, if I didn't already show it. When the quarry finishes, it leaves nothing but the bedrock. So, kind of cool looking. Um, all right, I'm going to grab this lava, put it in the, the engines, and then uh, hopefully we'll have everything we need to get this thing going. All right, steam engine is on the last of its uh, run here. As soon as that's done, I'll break that thing. But we've produced a decent amount of biofuel already. We've got some biomass, sorry, not biofuel, but biomass going into the engines. I did change instead of redstone going to both. I put individual levers on these because um, this is likely to generate more biomass than it consumes. So I want to be able to shut off this engine. At some point, I'll do it with some gates so that it's a little fancier. But for now, this will work. I'll just manually control it. So let's, uh, let's let this thing finish. Actually, I think it's fine. Let's just turn on this engine. So it should be warming up. There it goes. And off we go. That's going to make biomass substantially faster. The last thing we have to do is to flip this lever and get the quarry going. So um, we might not be able to see anything happening for quite some time because the robot's going to be in the center of this huge area. Well, there goes a laser beam. Um, and I see blocks disappearing, but uh, it's probably going to take a little while before we can actually see much of anything going on. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit, and I'll be back once uh, once we see it going. Wow, so this uh, bio uh, gas engine is very fast. It has consumed all the saplings I had, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. Um, so we've produced almost two full tanks really fast. This is not even... It's, it's gotten barely a little bit further, so that's going to work out really well once I've got a gate on it and some other stuff. But we're still waiting for um, the quarry to really start going, so I'll be back. All right, so while that uh, quarry down there runs, I'm going to make uh, one other thing. We're going to uh, get some use out of this tungsten here by making a mailbox and making use of some of the trade station stuff. So in order to make the mailbox I'm gonna need the bronze, I need some chests and I happen to have just enough and what else do I need? We need uh, tin. Three pieces of tin. So let's go grab those. That's silver tin. Okay. Now the mailbox is really cool because it lets you, I have to make the machine first, lets you send items and messages to other players, but the particularly cool thing are the trade stations, which let, uh, let you sort of set up this place where you can accept one item in exchange for another. And what we've done on the server itself here is we've set up a trade, sta oops, trade station that lets us turn um, uh, tungsten into diamonds. So I'm going to make um, a fence post to put it on because they look best on a fence post. So we'll grab that and let's figure out where we want to put it. I think we actually want to put one down here in this room. So let's put it let's put it right here. I think this will work. 
So right there. There we go. We have a mailbox. Um, and the way this works, let me set right now. I don't think it really matters, but it's set for restricted. Um, yeah, so we don't want anybody to break it, although it doesn't really matter. Um, what we want to do is craft some letters. Um, I'm going to need this. Oh, I'm going to need paper for that. And I don't have any paper yet. I don't have any sugar canes anywhere. Let me go on a hunt for some sugar canes. Well, no luck finding any in my world, but I'm thinking maybe if I head over to the strip mine, maybe I'll find some out here. So let's take a look here. Hmm, none standing out. I don't know if they actually spawn in swamps. And, oh, is there some right there? Yes, there is. Okay. Kind of need more than three. Any more? Any more? Well, I guess three will have to do for now. Uh, which means I can't build anything, because I'm going to have to plant these three in order to get them growing. Is there more over there? It's hard to tell what's vines and what is sugarcane. I think there's more over that way, though. Oh, look, more bees. Don't really understand the symbol for these bees, but that's okay. Yeah, a whole bunch more over here. Good. I should really get my scoop and collect some of these bees. Um, Alright, I think that's good. Let's head back. And I'm running out of food. All right, I'll meet you guys back. Okay, so I've got this stuff back here, and just for now, because I'm kind of lazy, I'm actually just going to plant it in here to grow. Um, and I was looking up the recipe, and I need a lot of it. So I'm actually just going to plant all of this for now. And uh, come back to doing the mailings and letters once I have a lot more of it to go on. I um, guess I'll put the last one over here. Who knows, this might look cool once it's all grown up. Alright, so let's go downstairs and see how that stuff's doing. It's been running for quite a while now. really excited for this room. I think it'll look really cool once everything's started up. Um, I did add some walls here and they will probably make more sense in a little bit, but essentially once... Uh, oof, dangerous. Uh, once this opening that's being built is too tall, mobs will start spawning in it. And I don't want them walking over here and particularly creepers blowing stuff up, so I put a wall right there there's not much I can do about the pipes right here. They're not a huge loss if I lose those. The quarry would suck. That's 11 diamonds, but um, I'm going to throw glass right here. Uh, and uh, then this ladder, I was realizing, won't get picked up, but it will remain right on the edge. So as, as needs be, I can go down that thing and sort of cherry pick... Um, stuff off the sides of the walls so anything that gets missed or exposed I'll be able to pick up so anyway that's still going it's got quite a while um, so I'm gonna let that keep going and uh, I really want to show you guys once that's running I've got uh, a couple of ores in here but I need to run into the other ores before I can really uh, get anything going so we're playing the waiting game. I'll uh, I'll be back when we have something interesting to show. 
So I'm back down in the quarry. I just thought I'd show you guys. I had seen, well, that was a weird little hiccup. Hopefully that didn't come through the video too terribly. Um, I'd seen this ore that's up here. Uh, I built the glass wall, but I came over here and decided to hop up um, and see what I could see, mostly because I could see this grass and I was worried I was exposing daylight, but I think it's just kind of a weird thing going on. Um, and you can see there's quite a bit of ore. It's sort of hard to see. There's some right here, right there, out there. So I think what I'm going to do while I let this thing go is dig up some of this stuff because I don't feel like wasting it. The little robot, when he goes through, um, doesn't harvest this stuff. He just destroys it. And uh, it could be useful to me. So I'm going to spend some time harvesting up uh, all of this stuff somewhere not very far away is a zombie. I can hear him but I don't see him. Not sure what that hole is all about. So um, thought I'd just video that just to show you. Ooh, what is this? I did pop into a cave somewhere. somewhere I had already marked. Oh! I know where I'm at. I believe... Yep! I am underneath my house over here. Um, I don't know if you guys remember back in the first, maybe second episode, um, I kept hearing zombie noises and uh, I eventually discovered that I was on top of this ravine area. So I hopped down while I was building the house and I just filled it with lights so that uh, I wouldn't have spawns anymore. But it looks like I'm running underneath the, the house and meeting up with that. So that could be cool. I can get into it later. Um, matter of fact, look at that. There is some of my house structure. Apparently, I'm a lot closer to my structure than I thought. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. That's uh, marble. All right, I'm good. All right, I'm going to continue picking up all of these ores, and uh, I'll be back to show you something else again, I'm sure. Well, looks like I had a creeper spawn in my little path. I've been following this, uh, this thing back and forth, just... Uh, trying to... you actually might help me out a little bit if you would explode, but you'd probably kill me. Following the laser back and forth, just kind of picking the stuff as it gets exploded, and uh, I've had a creeper now and a zombie, so it's been kind of entertaining, just waiting for this thing to finish. So this is what I've been doing, just waiting for it to expose something, and then I come mine it up. And uh, Let's see how much stuff I have from doing all that. I have 15 tin, 12 iron, 3 copper, a whole bunch of cobblestone. So um, I've mostly been ignoring the coal because I'll end up with a ton of it and it's a pain in the butt to mine. So uh, I'm just going to keep doing this. Look at this. The uh, sugar cane has grown. I'm just harvesting a bunch of it now. So perhaps we can finish the uh, um, the other stuff we're working on. Wow, time that really well. Let's start some bees going again. I'm gonna need to have to grab some coal because I have to make some uh, propolis. So let's come down here, and I've been running these machines over time, so they're kind of out of power. Um, Alright, we need to grab coal. We'll just grab... oh, I had a ton. Okay. Um, I need a couple of things from bees, and then we'll make the paper, and then we should be good to go. So let's throw... Uh, let's just throw this stack in there for now. Do we have any over here? 
and uh, we'll get a bunch of these honeycombs going. Now I've got a bunch of beeswax and some honey drops and what we need is uh, not that we need it's for the letter that's it we need the propolis and you make this by centrifuging silky combs oh there we go that's the one I want just oop, dang it that one there it is uh, recipe there we go so if we centrifuge oh no I'd have to go in the squeezer darn stringy comb or hmm apparently I can't make this yet darn okay well so much for that idea let's put these things back I will finish doing all this stuff because I've got a ton of it built up but I think we're gonna have to save bees for another time um, so let that run for a little bit we'll go down here we'll check on our quarry And even though I'm running these things over time, let's throw a couple of things that I'd harvested in there. Okay, so the four uh, solar panels I have is just not enough to keep up with that. So we're down to where it's two levels. Um, I believe this thing is out of fuel, but it has a bunch of stored Minecraft jewels that it's basically burning through. So once all of those are gone, it's going to be out of power. So I'm going to have to get some more um, plant matter to go into this thing. Let's just head up right here and make sure we got our sword out because look at that. I told you that we'd end up with a bunch of mobs once this thing became two. And we did. So let's actually just get away from the creeper because I want nothing to do with him. Because they're creepy and creepery. Um, so I think we're going to have to wrap up the video uh, because none of this stuff is going to be done anytime soon. So this is uh, Kyle with the Brothers Claws wrapping up episode 9. Um, creeper, you are creeping. You're just kind of scaring me. Um, anyway, wrapping up episode 9, this is why I built this wall. Uh, I will talk to you all later.